Well, hello everybody and good morning. I just dropped little Finn off at Mercy Vet Coalition. Uh, the new vet that's just for shelters and rescues here in, um, it's in Greenville, Michigan. And we are so grateful that they are in the area. Look them up, they're a nonprofit and um, they're absolutely wonderful. So we just dropped Finn off there. And at the same time, um, I haven't posted about it because honestly, it's just so disturbing. Um, I dropped off another cat um, that has been wandering in a neighborhood here in Belding for at least a month with a severely mangled leg that, that literally is just hanging off of the poor cat. I'm really struggling this morning with the fact that, um, just the fact that um, people have to be seeing these cats. These are packed neighborhoods full of houses and I just don't understand. <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't understand why people don't reach out sooner. Um, on the one cat, we have had a lady that was in contact with us, but um, I think I'm just talking about the whole neighborhood of people. I'm not, I'm not trying to start a battle here, but it's so disturbing to me that people can see an animal this wounded. I mean, I'm not even going to show you the video that I have of this cat, it's so disturbing. And my guess is um, that she's going to have to be put down. Um, we've actually been trying to catch her for a couple of days now. And it was actually Jade from Hope's Haven Rescue. I messaged Jade and said, hey, um, can you help me at all? I, I can't seem to get this cat. And Jade came through like a literal superhero uh, yesterday and got the cat. I've um, passed some donations on to Jade and her rescue, which is Hope's Haven Rescue. She's inches away from becoming a nonprofit herself. And she swooped in and saved the day. And she also took three very spicy little orange babies off the property. Um, and that's the other thing is as I was going around trying to catch this injured cat, um, oh my God, just so many cats, um, at least I'd say 30. And this is a separate colony from the one that we're trying to get under control on J Street. So if you are on our list, <clears throat> As some of you have been with colonies, um, if you're on our colony list, some of you have been on that list for over a year. And this is why it's just overwhelming. Uh, there's so many. And then what stops us in our tracks is kitten season. And then what also stops us in our tracks, and this is ha has been the worst season for this, is um, injured cats because if this little girl that I just brought to the vet makes it, she'll have an amputation for sure. If she makes it, um, it's it's infected. She's gone. I think she's gone too long. And um, oh, it's just I'm so frustrated. <clears throat> I do understand that people call the rescues and the rescues say uh, we're full. We can't take on any more. I do understand. Um, um, that frustration. Um, I guess my only advice on that is sometimes you have to be the like squeaky wheel and just keep messaging and post. Like if you have an injured cat and the rescue say they can't help, post that cat on social media, make other people aware of it so that at least a bleeding heart out there will say, I can't just let this cat run around like this literally with its leg falling off. I mean, I don't want to go too into it because if you're anything like me, this stuff really, really bothers you. And it's been out there for at least a month like that. I just, oh, I can't wrap my head around it, you guys. And, you know, I've, I've had people say to me, like, are you sure you want to 
um, start this business because won't you run out of cats? Like, won't you eventually run out of cats? And I just like, oh my God, people really have no idea how bad, how absolutely terrible the overcrowding situation is. I mean, I read a statistic the other day. It's something like maybe three out of every 10 um, cat that's born gets into a home. There's so many of them. And if nobody's keeping an eye out for them and helping them when they get injured, um, it's just such a miserable, miserable life. Like I think about Banana and Barnaby, if, if, if somebody hadn't taken it upon themselves to get them. Oh, so I'm just really disturbed about all of it and sad about this cat, but, you know, grateful that the cat's in good hands now. I'll be surprised if the cat isn't put down. It's just way too far gone. And, um, oh, you guys, all I can do is, like, look at these kittens that have been saved. And actually, I was looking at this. And it helped me. <laughs> um, this is this is the paperwork. Um, it represents some of the 640 cats that we have gotten fixed, um, and that means those are cats that will not be born into this horrid situation, and. It means that we can help the cats that are here, like our little Ellie, our sweet barn cat. Um, so I'm really trying to focus on that stuff, but I'm also just being really honest with you guys that I am struggling again today. Just the cruelty, the cruelty to watch a cat that injured for months and not do something to help it. Um, I don't, I don't I'll, I'll never get it. All right, I'm going to get off of my soapbox <laughs> and I'm going to tell you that Finn is at the vet and more blood tests today and we're going to get him on the road to recovery and I'm going to take a deep breath and no, I can't save them all and i'm going to just focus on what i'm able to do and thank each and every one of you that shares our videos all of you that donate whether it's to us or to people that we send your way that need help we appreciate you so very much and most of all we appreciate anybody that takes the time to get their cat fixed and please remember that if you don't have a car or you don't have money or you don't have the time, whatever it is, please reach out to me, reach out to Jade at Hope's Haven um, Rescue. We will help you. We'll come pick up the cat. We'll take the cat. We'll pay for it. We'll bring the cat back. <laughs> um, we're begging you. Please get your cats fixed. As adorable as these little kittens are, um, the more kittens that are born, the more we have adult cats out there with their legs literally falling off. Uh, okay. It's Friday. Sammy is happy as can be. The babies are safe. And we're doing what we can do. Deep breath. <laughs> and let's just keep on keeping on. Thanks for listening.